Collins? I have a clock at the gallery. And dinner after? Uh-huh. At Galliano. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, the men are coming to fix the roof tiles today. Good. Tell Mrs. Arkley. I like telling you. I'm gonna be late. Oh, well. So. What else is new? What do you mean by that? <laughs> Now look what I got. Juju's in love. With your gray cashmere sweater? Yeah. <laughs> All right, darling. Go, go. What's going on with you today? What? Well, the only time you like to make love in the morning is when you're not too anxious to get to the office. What's up? The Kylie job in San Francisco. I bit of a big chunk. I don't know if we're up to it. <laughs> Anything I can do? Yeah. Keep making love in the morning. Are you? You sold them all. Guess to whom? My Arab oil sheik. Got it. Well done. <laughs> oh, now here it is. My new stuff. What do you think? Fish. Doris, a mackerel is a fish. These are dolphins. Beautiful dolphins. Well, they're very pretty, but couldn't I have some more suns? Oh, Doris, I've been doing suns till they're coming out of my ears. All right, regular order. Good for you. That's so smart. <laughs> I'll have them ready for you in a couple of weeks. Oh, terrific. They look great. Thanks. Terry? Yeah. Do Arabs like dolphins? <laughs> we'll see. Uh-oh. Caught in the act. Uh, I thought we weren't going to do this anymore. Right. All right, here's the preliminaries on the Kylie job. Where's Paula? Down in Torrance, looking over that standard Technics deal. Oh, good, good, good. I'm going to be gone for the rest of the day, so you play leader, okay? Yippee. I thought you'd be thrilled. Later. All right, Ruthie, get ready. First, I go to pennant tubing, and then at uh, 3 o'clock, I'm going to be at uh, Solar Rays, and then at 5, I'm going to be at the Earl Gallery. For anything or anything important? Important. Okay. All right, I'm leaving you two guys alone here because I know you're both morally upright. Hey, liver lips, you hear that? Just you and me, baby. <laughs> Later. Get out of here. He's completely changed his style. Yeah, and he's moving in a totally different direction, I notice. Is, is his life different? Or is it probably transition? Mm -hmm. White line. <laughs> he really went to hell with himself in this one, didn't he? I'm going to get some help. Really? Oh, he's desperate man. OK, you have it. All right, guys, and this is a quiz. Now, in 30 words or less, what is this all about? It's about $2,500. <laughs> I'd like to venture a wild guess that it's a uh, study in white. <laughs> ah, bravo, bravo. You've done it again, Terry. We didn't get carried away. That's the artist over there. <laughs> and don't laugh. He's going to buy one. Who? What? You're not. I can't afford not to. Look at this man. He's an obvious comer. Where are you going to hang it? On a white wall and hope it won't be noticed. <laughs> Mike, there's a telephone call. I think the work is incredible. Thank you, Joe. The artist will be right back. Oh, I'll see you. Thank you. Come in the other room. There's something else I want you to see. Lead away. This way. Stop. Peggy? Oh, my God. Yes, it's been years. What? Where is she? I do. Well, listen, I can't just, you know, pick up and leave. I, I realize, I realize that she was there for me when I... <sighs> yes. Okay, I'll be there right away.
to. It's called a glioma, kind of brain tumor. A few days ago, she was just fine. Now she's in the hospital. Is she conscious? She comes and goes. How long is she? How much longer? Could happen any time. I just happened to be in the neighborhood. I didn't call you. I know. This whole business. <laughs> so stupid. Nothing I can do about it. Have you seen Lisa? Yes. Oh, she's beautiful. Hmm. You know, back then, I tried to find you. I could have been of some help. Why? You had your life out there. I had my life here. It was my decision. I know. I could kill Peggy for calling you. Easy, huh? just, just take it easy. I've never been overly religious. But God must be aware he's making a bizarre mistake, no? I mean, if he wants to punish me for my sins, fine. But why Lisa? I'm sure you made her strong. I just being around you would do that. No, don't worry about it. She's gonna be fine. Where will she go? Huh? What is it? What's the matter? I'm going to have to leave. Oh. Code blue, room 201. Code blue, 201. Alisa? My name is Mike. I'm uh, a friend of your mom's. I mean... Some time ago, we were close. Uh, we didn't know each other very long, but... Uh... Are you my father? Yes, I am. Operator, I'd like to make a collect call to Terry. From Michael. Excuse me, operator, uh, cancel this call, please. I'll uh, call later. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. You were. Oh, yeah, about a family. Sonia's mother died some time ago. The father is still alive, though God knows where. Thoroughgoing rat, apparently. He's the reason that she wanted to raise Lisa alone. Mm -hmm. You mean there was no other men in her life? A few, from time to time, but uh, she wouldn't let them get serious. Her life was Lisa and her work. I was as close to her as anybody. There were parts of her I never understood at all. Lisa's like her in that way. She's very bright, very outgoing. 
but uh, very private and certain things. So you're very close to Lisa, too, then? She calls me Other Ma. I'm going to visit Other Ma. I've got to know what you're thinking. I should take her. Well, it's impossible. I travel in my work constantly. You, you, you can't drag a 10-year-old child up and down the eastern seaboard. Then what you're saying is that she goes with me or the courts will take her. Now look, Terry and I have built our whole life around not having kids. I mean, suddenly to dump one at a door? I can't do it. And at least you're set up for it. You've got a house. You've got money. Money doesn't solve this. I'm 41 years old. I mean, what I know about kids would leave room in the head of a pin. <laughs> it's impossible. You're going to leave her to the courts? Are you? I'm not her mother. Neither is my wife. Peggy, would you tell me a story? Story? Well, I'm sure your dad would be happy to. Me? Oh. Sure. I mean, if you want. Okay. You still get told bedtime stories? Well, no, but just for tonight. Hmm. Ah, so let's see. Uh, a story, huh? Uh, what kind of a story? You know, the kind you make up. Oh, that kind, huh? Well, let's see. Um, let's see. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. No, make him a girl. Oh, oh, right. Well, because you're a girl. You have to bear with me. You know, I never did this before. Okay, so uh, let's see. Once upon a time, there was this little girl, and she lived in New York. No, not New York. What do you mean? I thought because you... Tell us more about the frog who broke at the Waldorf. Do you know it? How does it go? Well, you know, when she starts out at the pond and burps so loud, all the other tenants get up. There's a petition against her. because they can't sleep at night. Yeah? So she has to leave the pond. Because she can't stop the humongous burp she has. No kidding. Anyway, this baby's name is Linda. Has to go from pond to pond looking for a new home. Finally, she gets to New York, where the landlords are having this convention at the Waldorf Hotel. And they're going to pass this terrible rule that's going to take away rent control all over the world. Well, the minute Linda hears that, nowhere to live. She hops right into the big hall, where they're about to have the big vote. Eats a pickle, because pickles make the best burps. Let's loose with this gigantic, gasmatic, you font it. Burp! <laughs> and the walls start swaying and the glass gives way. And a thousand Latin landlords start to burp. And they can't stop. They can't vote. And they all run away and Linda has saved the day. And the poor are grateful. And they gave her this gorgeous three-bedroom apartment on Central Park West. With a TV in every room and her own personal refrigerator full of food by her bed. And... A lifetime supply of bazooka bubblegum. <laughs> Isn't that great? Did, did you make that up? Me and Mom. Well, I think it's a great story. And didn't you like the way I told it? All right, let's get you to bed. And you go.
Did your mom ever dance there? No, but she took me there a lot of times. You want to get something to eat? Sure. What do you want? Hot dog. How do you like your dog? Fine. What? Well, well, mommy. Do I have to be there? You want to be? Should I be? I mean, we already said goodbye. No. I think it would be better if you remembered your mom the way she was. Like when you two made up the story. Yeah, me too. you been? Why haven't you called? Well, I tried a couple of times. I, uh... Well, well, things have been so hectic here, you know, at the hospital and all with Paul's family. It... How is Paul? Is he any better? Uh, he's, he's about the same. Hon? Yes? I love you. I love you, too. Listen, I, I'm, uh, I'm gonna wrap this up as quick as I can, okay? Come home soon. I miss you. Be well. You too. It's over. Discontinue the ventilator, please. I think that my favorite Sonia story comes from the early days, when I just started the company. We were booked for a concert at a small college, and as always, we were looking to save money. So we booked ourselves into the now legendary Centralia Hotel. My God, the Centralia. <laughs> Let me tell you, that opulent little hostelry is situated in the middle of nowhere. And when they drop you off, there you stay. And I remember because it was after the concert. 
We all arrived back at the hotel and we were still steamy and sweaty and thinking of nothing but a grandly hot bath. And of course, there was no hot water. Still the same. <laughs> but Sonia, Sonia was absolutely undaunted. Trapped there, she had one mighty weapon. Now, Lisa remembers her uh, hot water rod. You know, that little thing that you stick in pots to heat water for tea? Well, that night, Sonia must have heated over a hundred pots of water. But we all had our at least vaguely warm baths. <laughs> Bless you on your journey, my dearest. Lisa, would you like to say something? I guess um, this is a... Uh... Goodbye. Yeah. Thanks for your help. And you for yours? Lisa, um, I, uh, you're, uh... Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Do you have a bathing suit? Why? Well, you go upstairs and pack it because you're coming with me. This is my secretary, Ruthie. Ruthie, this is Lisa, my daughter. Beg pardon? My daughter. Oh. Hello. Hello. You know what that is? Mm -mm. That's going to be a building in Beverly Hills, mm. a department store. This, look, it's all made of glass, so you can look right through it from everywhere. I'll shop there. <laughs> That's what I do, you see. I'm an architectural designer. This is really going to be built? I sincerely hope so, for my sake. Uh, listen, I got an idea. While I do this errand, um, I wanted to design something. Right. Perfect. Hi, Bob. Uh, Bob Martin, this is Lisa, my daughter. So I heard, you devil. What have you had going all these years? Um, uh, Bob, um, would you uh, set Lisa up to do a design? Well, I've got this lunch. I'll, uh, I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Have fun. Listen, there's something I gotta tell you. Well, look, we always wanted a kid, right? Well, 
Oh boy. Look, there's this kid. I mean, when Sonia died, what was I going to do? She's down in my office now, and I want to bring her home. Would you like to come in? One of the jobs I went back there for, I just fizzled. And I was depressed. I was alone in the big city. I met her. I saw her exactly twice, so there was nothing, you know, I mean, there was no big emotion to it or anything like that. It was just... It happened. It was over. I came home. And then a few months later, I get this letter from my friend Peggy. She's pregnant. She didn't want me to know. Excuse me, this was 12 years ago. Right. When you and I were trying to get pregnant. Right. Go on. Well, I, uh, I tried to trace her, you know, to give her whatever help I could, but she just disappeared. She had her baby, and she came back to New York, and she raised her there until... So what do you think? <laughs> I don't know what to think. I want to think it's a terrible joke, but it's not. She's really a wonderful kid. She really, she's bright, she's smart, she's friendly. You've brought me another woman's child. When I couldn't have a child, you were having one. Mm. Oh, I don't think I want you to touch me right now. Would you like to meet her? Look, I'm sorry about this. What, what, am I, what was I supposed to do? What? Leave it to the courts? Where are you going? To the beach. stuff out and we'll brighten the place up. Touch them, it won't break. She might not like it. Is this her? Mm hmm. Where is she? She's, um. She's not here.
That's Juniper. Juniper? Listen. Want to be my friend? You want to see the view? Sure. Come on, Terry. You've done it before. You'll feel better. The pillow is Mike. And just tell Mike exactly what you feel about what he did to you. Tell him, Terry. Tell him. Don't be afraid, Terry. Tell him. Tell him what's in your heart. Come on. Bring home another woman's child to me! To me! Childless! Damn you! Damn you! More, more, more. Louder, louder! Damn you! Damn you! God, I hate you! Kill you! God! It's okay. It's okay. I can't have children! It's okay. I've seen more meat on a butcher's apron. She's my eye fashion model. She's as cute as a button is what she is. But when you grow up, you're going to need something for the boys to hold on to. Boys? Gross. I'm never going to get married. Eat, just in case you change your mind. How come you and your wife never had kids? We tried for three years to have a baby. We couldn't. I accepted it. We decided not to adopt. We had each other. I accepted that. I built a whole life on the idea of not having children. Our friends don't have any children. I don't know any children. I don't know if I want to. I wouldn't mind. We could take her on a boat. I don't know what to do. Well, you have a few choices. You could leave Mike. You could send the child away. Or you could try to work it out. In the mountains where we lived in Morelos, they used to have every year these um, quick floods. My parents were on their way to market when they got caught in one. I drowned? Like that, gone. Boy, how old are you? Well, I was already 14. But still. See where that? Too fast. My mom gave this to me for my seventh birthday. See? That's her. Oh, very pretty. She was a great dancer. She danced with the Lewis Carlson Dance Company. Ever heard of them? Well, I don't follow the dance too much, you know. They're very famous. They dance at high schools and colleges and everything. Mommy can do solo sometimes. Brandy? Thank you. Mm -hmm. You know... It's funny. I'm a mature woman. I run a business. I have two bank accounts. And all I can think of is 
How do I tell my mother? Why? Do you think she'll crow? Oh. <sighs> she's had it in for Mike for years. You think she's going to miss her chance? I put out some fresh towels for you. If you hear some voices in the morning, it's just Janet with an early patient. Like I used to be. She says she doesn't want to see you, and she doesn't want to talk to you. One. Hey, come on, Mike. I'll keep trying. Hi, Ma. How you feeling? Her name is Lisa, and she's his kid. So don't give me that how you feeling stuff. You heard. I called three days ago. I figure if you don't call me for a few days, there must be something you're ashamed to tell me. So you're getting a divorce? What? Who told you that? I assume it. I mean, a man runs a bum rap on you like that. What are you going to do, sit there and take it? I'm not taking anything. Got your own business, your own money. What do you need him for? I can't believe you're saying this. You practically pushed me to the altar. That was then. I mean, what were you, a quiet little kid who sat there and doodled on paper? Now it's different. Now you walk out and take half of everything he owns. Community property. I don't want to take half of everything he owns, Ma. Mm -hmm. I don't want to divorce him. That's not the point. It's your pride you have to think of. You don't think those ladies in Beverly Hills and Pasadena are going to hear about this? You don't think they're going to be buzzing? This is crazy. Oh, is it? Oh, wait and see. Oh, buzz, buzz, buzz. Brought home his lover's kid. Buzz, buzz, buzz. A real doormat. Buzz, buzz. Doormat. No question. Let me tell you something. Mike was a bad egg from the store. No, not from the store. From mother. day one. No, from when he told me not to lend you any more money from oh, the store. Oh, please. And he was it's right. Oh. You've gone out of business twice, and if it wasn't for Dad's insurance, you'd still be out. That man cheated on you. It was years ago. And now he brings home that woman's offspring? Who's probably a wonderful child. She will be a living humiliation for you. Or a living fulfillment for the rest of your life. So be it. It's my decision. If I want to take her in, I will. And if I want to go back to Mike, I will. And her drunk Mother, I wish you would support me in a decision. Lisa, what is it? What are you doing, Lisa? What's going on? What happened? I... I, huh. was, I was just washing some things. What, at 3 o'clock in the morning? You're washing your sheets and you... That's okay, Mrs. Arnold. You bet, huh? I don't know how it happened. I mean, I just woke up and, and there 
don't want to. It's okay. I haven't done it since I was little. It's all honestly. right. It's all right. I'm so ashamed. No, no. Hey, there's no reason for that. Come on, don't worry about it. I like these PJs a lot better anyway. What do you say, uh, we get you on back to bed, huh? Come on. Do me a favor, would you? What? No more midnight washings. My utility bill can't take it. I know it's hard being in a new place and sleeping in a new bed. I'm fine. You miss your mom, don't you? Is that it? I'm fine, really. Sure you are. You know, I'm very glad that you're here. If you ever need me for anything, I'm right in the next room. Deal? Deal. China. Don't, put, don't dig the hole so deep. Don't stand there. Sure, bro. Put some more earth in there. Okay. Put this, plant this straight up. Okay. Apparently, I'm not going to get this. All right, but don't squeeze the roots, bro. That's good. That's uh, terrific. Oh, that looks pretty good. That's good. Now, here, you plant one yourself, okay? Go. I see. It has some flowers. Lovely. It's uh, gazinia. Gazanias. Gazania. Uh, these are uh, violets. And this is Lisa. Hi. This is Terry. And uh, this is a tree. And this is a house. <laughs> and this is you are you. And you are you. And... I have some things for Miss Lisa. For Lisa. For your room. Go ahead, take it. I'll take it. I'll open it up. Oh. Do you like it? Nice. Here, try this. They were awful. No, they weren't awful. Oh, come on. She's 11. I shopped for a six-year-old. She kept the rabbit. Sheer diplomacy, I'm sure. No, she liked it. Are you going to sleep in that? Why is it so strange? Because a lot has happened. Do you want to talk? Sure. I came back because I wanted to try and make things work. I feel a lot of different things about you. But we've had 13 very good years, and I don't just want to throw that all away. Uh, I don't know, Lisa. 
I'm sure she's a very decent person. I thought I knew you. Now I'm not so sure. You lied to me. Not just about why you went to New York a little while ago. A 12-year lie about Lisa. And about this woman. Were there others? None. Other lies about other things? What do you mean? When you get shaken up like this, you start to wonder about everything. Does he like my work? Does he like my looks? Does he like me? Has he been lying about everything? I don't know if I can trust you. I never lied to you about anything else. Trust me again. But I'm going to work hard to earn that trust. Well, try, honey. Would you come in and tell me a story? That's cold. Two nights in a row. You think it was on purpose? No, she never had trouble getting me sleep before Terry got back. Well, it is an adjustment for her. Oh, I know. Listen, hey, it's not a problem, you know. It's just a, a little unnerving. I tell you what. When we take you guys to Catalina, we'll take Lisa on an all-day tour of the island so you and Terry can have a little privacy. How's that? It's great. So just hang on a couple of weeks, buddy. A couple of weeks? Mm-hmm. Oh. So how was the showing? It was fabulous. The ladies ate everything up, especially the necklace with the four stones in a row. Do you remember that oh, one? Mrs. Yeah. Darling me made some special orange cookies for dessert, Daddy. And the interlock ring. I don't know how many pieces we sold. We Dar made a dark so there'll be some for tomorrow. I was saying I don't know how many pieces we sold. You want to take them to the office. Honey, if you want honey, Terry was talking. I'm sorry. You were saying? Um, I don't know how many pieces we sold. That's it. <laughs> but Dars was ecstatic. Oh, where are you going? I'm not finished. I don't want any more. Well, uh, the, what about the cookies? I have them in the kitchen. Why didn't you say something? Like what? I mean, you could have told her to sit down. No, I couldn't. I'm not going to give her orders. Why not? Mike, I've only known the child a week. Terry, you're her mother. No, I'm not. Well, you're going to have to stop behaving like you are. Okay. I guess you're right. I wish I felt more confident about it. I'll back you up. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's cute. 
cute. What is it, a fish? A dolphin. Oh, how much is it? Five hundred. Five hundred? But it's just silver. It's a limited edition. But it doesn't even have a stone or anything. <laughs> Excuse me. What you're paying for is the concept, the design, the artist's name. Dubray? Who's that? I've never even heard of him. Ah, in that case, the educational value alone is worth the thousand dollars, which is my special price to you. Is that right? No, thanks. It's a bit too tacky for my taste. I find that hard to believe. Thank you. I'm sorry. Stick around. Kill a few more sales today. It isn't just today. The situation at home is, to say the least, tense. Trouble with Lisa. No. Trouble. Not if you like constantly being spied on or intruded upon or... Every time your husband goes to touch you, she goes to the phone to call Peggy in New York to tell her how much she misses her and how much she loves her and how much she wishes that she were with her. No, you like those things? My life is absolute bliss. Well, nobody ever said it was going to be Ozzy and Harriet. If I can just hang on till this weekend, we're going to Catalina and maybe Mike and I can find some time to be alone. In the meantime, I'll try not to ruin your business any more than necessary. Good. You want to see the new stuff? Yeah. Um, these are the new things by Dubray. You've heard of him, haven't you? How much? 102.2. How you feeling, huh? I have a headache. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it, because we're going to get you well real fast. You rest now. takes care of the weekend. What do you mean? We have a sick kid on our hands. She has a cold. 102 fever is more than a cold. I don't believe this. Why am I doing this? What are you talking about? I used about? to have a life, you know what I mean? I used to have a life. I used to go places and do things. Now I'm a prisoner in a rejection factory. What are you talking about? Your child is sick. She's not my child. She's your child. Not a very friendly child, and one who was handed to me. Well, to me too. Oh, no, my dear. You had your fun. That's wonderful. That's 12 years ago. Yeah, and every time I look at the kid's face, I'm reminded of it. Are you going to blame her for No, that? I'm not. That's mighty big of I'm you. I'm going to blame you. But for how long? I don't know. What, a year? Maybe. For 10? No. What, Who forever? Cares? I'll tell you this, there's no 90-day guarantee on that item upstairs. Shh. That's right. Just like I planned it all, right? I just did it just to hurt you. You did hurt me. Listen to me whispering in my own house. This is my house. She does not run this house. I run this house. You're sick, damn it. I don't care! Sound like the Wicked Witch of the West, don't I? Mean and cruel and selfish. But it's what I feel and I'm sick of bottling it up inside. Oh, my. What do you think? I have no feeling? No, I... Watching you grow colder and colder, constantly being caught between the two of you. I'm going crazy with it. Everything in me wants to say I'm sorry for what I just said. But right or wrong, I have to have the right to express it. both do. Yes. This is a very difficult situation. And it's going to take a lot of working out. It's not a big problem. It's not. Well, no, yes, it's a big problem. Okay, but it's, it's one we can handle. As long as there's openness. And then I thought we'd have some lunch. Okay. Please open up. Oh, yeah. Easily. Latch. Hey! 
Yes, honey. Is this stuff yours? Yes. It's beautiful. It's totally unsolicited. Huh. Thanks. That is the best. Thanks, honey. I'm glad you liked my work. I did, really. Maybe sometime you'd like to come to my studio and make something? Jewelry? Real jewelry? Sure, why not? That'd be great. I'd like to do a lot more things with you. Sure, me too. You would? I'm mm -hmm. glad. Lisa? I just want you to know that I know how very difficult this must be for you. A new adjustment and a new mother and... I just think if we give each other half a chance, I really do want to take care of you. Mrs. Rodriguez takes care of me. What time is it? I don't know. Why? I have to get back to help her with dinner. Thank you, Mrs. R. It looks nice. Lisa! Dinner! <laughs> ah. <laughs> ah. Look at this. Lisa? Did you hear? No, thanks. What's the matter? I'm not hungry. Well, may I be excused? What's wrong? I feel nauseous. Well, rest a minute. Maybe you'll feel better. <coughs> it's getting worse. Okay, you're excused. <coughs> to your room, please. you in here anymore. I have to help. No, Mrs. R can manage alone. It's not your fault. I want Lisa to leave you to your work. Is that right I can't go in the kitchen anymore? Not ever. I want her to leave Mrs. R to her work. Isn't this my house too, the kitchen included? Yes. Great. Then I can go in there. wanted to. Is that how you're going to back me up? Because if it is, then what's the point? Because she's just going to go running to you. And where's the fellow who told me to stand up to her and use my parental authority? Where was he tonight? Caught right in the middle, that's hmm. where. Sure. You know, you go off and you make these arbitrary decisions and then you expect me to support them just... No matter how ridiculous they are? Like what? You tell me, what kind of sharing is that? What? Look at the rules that she can't go into the kitchen. You know that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? Shh. All right, so she likes Mrs. R better than you. So what, are you a threat? No. So you make that poor lady off limits? I don't understand What am that. I supposed to do? Would you just tell me? Oh, please, Fine. please, please. Would you just stop copying out on this and... Do some creative thinking. Oh, no. No, no, listen. I have not had a peaceful meal here in weeks. I have not had a decent night's sleep. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. She's not going near Mrs. R. Good night.
specs, Bill. Ruthie, have you seen the spec book on the Whittier job? It's ready. I want to give it to you for Xeroxing. He gave it to me yesterday. I did? Yeah. You also gave me the Long Beach job, which wasn't ready. Right. You seen this? It's from Carly, San Francisco. Careful, that's hot. Uh, he doesn't like the design? It's not that he doesn't like it. He hates it. And he's right. It's not what you and he talked about. And frankly, Mike, uh, it's shabby work. Is that right? Maybe you think you can do better. No, you're the designer. I'm the businessman. There's nothing I can do about the designs. Right, all right. I'll call him, all right? I just did. He's been trying to phone you for weeks. Now, I lied you out of it. I said you'd been away, but he's angry. He wants to drop us and give it to somebody else. Okay. It's not okay. Look, I don't know what's going on in your life, but when it starts to affect things here, it puts us at risk. Come on, Mike. You're the best in the West, remember? You think we can save this thing? I think if you go up there, you can. Now, he's going to be away for a couple of weeks, but when he comes back, he's willing to talk to you. All right, set it up. <laughs> Right. Mrs. R, have you seen Lisa? Look, I tell her she's not supposed to be here, but what can I do? Push her out? She comes back. Lisa, go to your room. Did you hear me? And then guess what happened? The little devil marched herself right down to the kitchen again. Exactly. And then, unbelievable, what does she do? She dragged her upstairs. Incredible. Like a yo-yo for over an hour, up and down. By the time I got home, they were both hysterical. What was I supposed to do? Smile and depart? Yes. Not confront? I didn't confront her. She confronted me. Yes. And you, like a fool, you fell into it. You know, you're the adult. Supposedly. Listen, Mr. Hindsight, who is it who comes home later every night and hides behind his drink and his homework? Hey, come on, you two. Ouch. You just started... What's to come home to? What? The Cold War? To, to do help what? Me? All the peace rallies? To make a commitment? She's your daughter. Did I force her on you? Did I? Yes, you did. And I let you. Yes, you I did. know. I made a decision without knowing what I was getting into. I'm a fool. I thought all I had to do was show up and get instant love. And instead, you've got the worst fight of your life. How long is it now? A couple of months. Forever. And getting worse? Come on, let's take a walk. See you later. I don't know. Maybe I should let it go. Maybe I'm not fit to be a mother. Nature certainly gave my body that message. Maybe it's true of all of me. Do you want Lisa? Ah, uh, yes, but I can't stand what's going on. Who can? I mean, who's fit? Experts who don't have children, that's who. Real parents are always in trouble. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what do I do now, doctor? Uh -uh. Oh, it's true, you know. I've never been good in situations of waiting. Like the Kylie job. I mean, I'm in trouble there. But there I could go up there, see? I could uh, talk to them, I could do sketches, I could work it out. But here, there's nothing like that I can do. You know, it's, uh, it's like being bound and gagged and watching two trains collide. So you discussed these feelings with Terry? Of course. This, this whole thing, it's like a fever. You know, it's infected our lives everywhere. Work, friends, sex life. Sex? <laughs> What's that? Are you kidding? We have fights instead. The fever just sets them off. Yes, I know. I, I am trying to be supportive, you know, but the... The 
But basically, I know that the, the game is between her and Lisa. And then the tougher it gets for her, the, the more frustrated I get. All right. Terry's right. You know, I am pulling away from it. The truth is, Barry, that I want to run away from it. I keep thinking I'm an independent woman. I can walk out any time and have my own life. What is keeping me here taking all this abuse? What is? Because every so often there's a moment with her. So beautiful when she lets me in. Because I was an only child like her. Sometimes we're in the middle of a fight. I look at her and see myself. I want to hug her, but I'm screaming at her. Next time she's mean to me, you know what I could do? What? Run away. <laughs> I could. Peggy could take me. I could go to New York. Oh, child. I could. I've been on a plane alone before. I tore even stayed in my room all alone. Didn't me a set or nothing. I mean, uh, I don't know why you think these things. I know her for a long time. She's good. She's kind. Not to me. You see how she is. I do see. You started every time. You know that, don't you? Yes. Why do you do it? I don't know. I don't mean to hurt her, but... But what? Oh, my mommy. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David, pero no eran tan bonitas. Sorry, I'm sorry, too. Oh, it's huh? Is he okay? Yeah, he's fine. Okay, okay. All right. <laughs> We've heard your side. Now let's try to see it from Lisa's point of view. Come on. Uh, well, she still wants a mother, right? I mean, Sonia was the only one she's known for years. So when Sonia died, Lisa couldn't admit it. No. Who wants to be alone at 11? And then we come along and, and we offer love. She rejects us. Whoa, whoa, what? Us? Does she reject Mike? No. All right, me. She rejects me. I'm carrying enough guilt, don't you think? May I ask you a question? Why is it that it always comes back on hold me? Hold it, hold it. Charlie Ferris. What? What about him? Talk about him. Why? What for? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Who's Charlie Ferris? It's before your time. Charlie Ferris, he was a man. Well, he was a man. He was just, just a man, huh? He was a man. He was a gorgeous man. He was brilliant. He was wonderful. Head over heels in love with Terry. But nothing happened. Yeah, nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You and Mike were happily married, and along comes this gorgeous, gorgeous caring man. Wonderful person. Who wants to love you, too. Do you remember how you felt? Like he had the worst timing in recorded history. <laughs> Terry, remember what you went through over him? It was awful. Why? Because I was deeply in love with Mike. I was flattered. I felt threatened, frightened. Of what? Of losing Mike. 
I wanted to. I didn't want to. I felt guilty for wanting to. I was afraid of the consequences, and I yearned. Dreaded, yearned, frightened, guilty. What if you were 11 years old and felt all those things? Oh, God. What? What? Go on, what? I ended up hating Charlie Ferrissey. Does she hate me like that? If she loves you, she destroys everything that she ever had with her mother. She's killing her mother. Do you see that? Do you see the bind that she's in? She doesn't have her mother. And on pain of betrayal, she can't have you. So anyway she turns, then she can't win. That's right. Hmm. So when you bring her love, She fights me like a good, loyal daughter. So when she provokes you, rejects you, defies you, what should you do? Be aware of where it's coming from. That's the difference between seeing her as someone who is in pain rather than someone who's bad. Yes. 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 Hmm. But these fights come from nowhere. I mean, I'm always surprised. Yes, of course. Or she's a genius at provoking. All kids are. So then we have, we have to be constantly aware of them. Yeah, that's true. And it's murder. I mean, you have to be constantly alert. <laughs> I gotta tell you something. It could get worse before it gets better. Uh-oh. Taxi. <laughs> now, that's right. How long can you hold on? And do you want to? What are my choices? You could send her away. Boarding school? Yes. No. Are you sure? No. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about what you can do at home. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. Hi. Uh. How you doing, Miss Donna? Thank you very much. Sure. How you doing? Great. Did you have a good day? Mm -hmm. Good. Um. Uh, Listen, I got a favor to ask you. What? Um, I'm going to be going away for a few days. You know, on business. Mm -hmm. And I wonder, could you try to get along with Terry? Yeah, you? I'll try. That's my girl. Give me one right here. <laughs> Sir, gotcha. so, Terry, how was your day? It was fine. And what'd you do? Uh, I worked on the turquoise necklace. Oh, yeah? Yeah, with the stones set in little silver teardrops. Sounds great. How about ping pong after dinner? <clears throat> I love it. That's terrific. I'll say. Way to go. I'm not so hot this time. Nice. Yes, you're doing great. Good job. Oh, wow, wow! wow. <laughs> what has God wrought? I don't know. But do you think I might get lucky tonight? You might very well. Ooh. Make sure you pack it down tight so you don't get any air pockets, you know? Yes. You want me to leave, don't you? Leave? Because of the child. No, no, I don't. I feel bad, you know, in the I, middle. I don't want you to leave. I want to... I want to spend some time alone with Lisa. That's what I want. Maybe you could take a little time off. A vacation. A vacation? A month. With pay? A month. I've been meaning to visit my sister in Modesto. A month. Okay. Ah, oh, thanks. Hey, she's your kid. Hi. Hi. How are you? 
Where's Miss Todd? I was school. Fine. Have you ever made Chinese food? No. Would you like to try? Where's Mrs. R? She's gone to visit her sister. Here, chop up these zucchini. She never said anything to me. It's just for a little while. You fired her. No. You got rid of her. Lisa, I didn't. Because she was my friend. No. I asked her to take some time off so you and I could spend time alone together so we can be friends. Uh-uh. You want to be my mother. Well, you're not. And you won't be ever. <laughs> I'm going out to play. All right. LAX. Where are you headed? New York. Oh, the Apple. That'd be LAX. You go there a lot? Oh, sometimes. Alone? Oh, sure. My name's Roland. What's yours? Sonia. Rodriguez. Oh. Mexican-American young lady, right? Well, it was way back. My grandpa was. So tell me, you run away from home very often? No, no, it's all right. I think every kid has a right to run away. Nothing to me and all you? Nah, I just love going for drives. This heat for what you got here. Twenty dollars, okay? And you take that, just in case you decide to go home. Don't pay no cabbie more than that twenty dollars, all right? Okay. Bye, Sonia. Your name is really Lisa. down at LAX. We have your daughter here. What? Your daughter Lisa, she's right here. She offered your credit card with a note that reads, please let my daughter on the plane to New York with your signature after. What? I'm awfully sorry, Mrs. Debray, but we can't accept the note alone. We require that all minors be accompanied to the airport by an adult. Hold her, I'll be right there. <laughs> Where is it? She stole my purse. Mr. Jim Johnson, please 
Did you hear me? Lisa. Come on, Lisa, you have to eat. I wanted to see how things are going. It started again. Oh, God. Worse than ever. I don't know what to do. I swear to myself I won't let her provoke me, but then one look and we're off and running. I hate her and I hate myself more. No, baby, no. No reason for that. I want to love her, Mike, but she won't let me in. So I punish her instead. I can't let you be hurt like this. You mean too much to me. This whole thing's just getting out of hand. Maybe we should send her off to boarding school. Maybe you're right. What else can we do? I feel like such a failure. I keep hearing Janet's words about seeing through her behavior, you know. But I don't know how to do that. I can't. I know. Look, honey, I have just one more day here. Can you hold on? Do my best. Just remember that I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. No, go away, please. No. Please. No. I'm no. Shh. No. 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 Shh. I'm here, no. sweetheart. I'm here, Lisa. Lisa. It's all right. Just a dream. A bad dream. Shh, shh, shh. It's all right. I'm here. I'm here. Mom. Mommy. Yes. Yes, I'm here. No. 
So you're not my mother. No, I'm not. I don't have to listen to you. I'll go pledges with you. Or see your mean old face. No, you don't. Of course, you're no good. You sent my friend away, and you made me go upstairs. Yes, I did. And you tore my poster. Yes, I did, and I'm sorry. And you're not my mother. I have a mother. She's gone, honey. No! No! <laughs> It hurts. Please come back. <laughs> please. Oh, God, please don't leave me here alone. <laughs> Let it out. Bobby. I miss you so much. Please. Bobby. <laughs> Let's go find him. I bet I know where he is. Stay tuned, because up next on True Entertainment, Danielle Steele's Message from Nam.